All right, hello YouTube. This is my review on the MPA 930T. This gun is really fun. Uh, Masterpiece Arms, little Mac 11 copy. Not the same, just similar. Um, can't call it a clone. This gun is, is yeah, it's extremely fun. Uh, this, uh, this has been a requested video from friends, family, um, people on the internet wanting to know exactly what I did for this custom MPA Defender. Um, this, uh, as I said, was is a, a copy of a Mac 11. This is the original kind of style, the top cocking model. Um, they have other pistols made by MPA that have side cocking and they're just, some take Glock mags. This this is the most like the original with the stick mag that I could find and it's uh it's the one I went with because of that. Uh that being said, clearly there's not very many places to mount anything on this gun uh, other than the uh Picatinny rail right in front of the pistol trigger guard. Um so yeah, that was uh, an obstacle I wanted to overcome with this weapon. Um first off, we are clear. I checked it before the video, but for those who are concerned, um, this this is my custom pick rail. So I uh, I just took your your regular old Picatinny rail M lock from a rifle kit and uh, took it, <laughs> put it in a vice grip, heated it up, bent it over just uh, as a trial run to see if this would function on this firearm. And uh, surprisingly, it has been incredibly uh, incredibly reliable. Um, I, I did have the Loctite. I, I had the Loctite uh, just about every bolt back there, including the bolts in the adapter right here as they kept riding loose, especially with uh, with a bump fire. Um, that'll, that'll tend to loosen things up just a little bit. Um, so after, after my first initial test run with uh, this thing firing it, making sure it functioned properly, uh, yeah, tighten everything up and it's been great ever since. Uh, this particular stock is the SB Tactical SIG MPX model made for the SIG MPX and uh, it fits beautifully on this gun. The only amount of customization I had to do is a slight bit of shaving right here which I am going to Cerakote for those that are concerned about it. Uh, definitely a little bit ghetto in my opinion but this is what I had to do to achieve this look with this brace. And um, I didn't see a better option that fit what I wanted to do with this pistol. So I uh, I just went ahead and went with that and I think it turned out very well. This, uh, this particular gun is just, it's so small and it fits so well with the brace, your, your head. And I mean, even if you're running a red dot right here, you've got plenty of space to get around, tuck your eye in and still, have just as much of that maneuverability and, and just uh, portability, I guess you could say, especially with the brace fully collapsed. I mean, you could go as far to say it's similar to the MP7, even though it's really not. But that's the kind of feel I was looking for when I thought this up and decided to create it in my head. Um, uh, shooting this thing suppressed is very, very fun. Uh, yeah, I mean, this this is just a really, really, really fun PCC to play around with. Not very practical for like an EDC type of deal. Um, not at all. Like I, I would not ever carry this uh, <laughs> unless I was just feeling a little bit, um, I don't know. It's, it's just uh, not very practical, but for the fun department, it checks all the boxes. Absolutely. Uh, so that's kind of what this gun is. It was just a fun customization and uh, it turned out real well in my opinion. So uh, price breakdown for this weapon right here in particular. Um, don't know if I mentioned it already, but uh, if you buy one of these from like Palmetto State Armory or somewhere like that, that doesn't overprice their stuff incredibly badly, um, you can pick this up for around $500. I know I've seen it for less maybe like 450 but i actually picked this gun up for 500 dollars myself and uh that's market price I, I believe um but anyway besides that uh the the brace itself was 200 dollars from sp tactical and that's the sig mpx 
Uh, and then the customized Picatinny rail, uh, you have to have to mount one of those. Um, so, I mean, like I said, just kind of forge an M-lock rail to fit the design of this gun and then drill some holes for the bolts and you got yourself a custom pick rail. Um, if you don't have the means to do that, then probably going to have a hard time building this. But uh, if, if you do, by all means, copy it. Um, if I had the means, I would sell these online, but I do not. I don't have the time or money to create these and uh, manufacture them. But uh, I wanted to share this design with the world because I think it's pretty cool and uh, it turned out pretty well, like I said. So um, this uh, this tough sole right here, that runs about $30 on Amazon. It's just a budget laser light combo. Uh, I'm not the type of guy that spends two, $300 on a laser or a light or both um, unless it's like my EDC that I'm gonna you know rely on with my life uh hopefully never but if i ever had to i wanted to be a good quality uh firearm especially with uh, quality attachments so um anyway like i said this is just for fun so it's not uh not too serious but uh that this was meant to be a budget pcc just fun gun and that's exactly what it's turned out to be nine millimeters not the most expensive ammo to shoot um, these parts weren't the most expensive parts and, uh, it's not the most expensive gun either. So this is a, it's a fun option if you want to do something like this. Before I had the, uh, uh, SB tactical, uh, telescoping brace, I had on there also an SB tactical folding style, like the AK style triangle brace. That was all right, but, uh, this is much better in my opinion and it just completes the work. Um, so yeah, I mean... That being said, this is uh, this is a really fun gun. This is uh, my favorite gun, I believe, out of my entire collection. And um, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to share it with everybody so y'all could see it. And uh, if you wanted to copy it or just uh, know that this is an option for you here if you wanted to do something like it. So. Anyway, that's all. That's all I have for you on this uh, little gun review here. Uh, this is the first one I've ever done on this channel, but it, it will be one of many. I, I do plan on uh, reviewing a few other guns that I have. And of course, I'll be putting up more motorcycle videos and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, um, I'll include some video of me shooting this thing just so you can see that as well. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please uh, like and subscribe. It definitely helps. And uh, we'll see you in the future here with more gun, bike videos, and whatever else I feel like posting up. But that's it. Cheers. You're live. Here it goes. Yeah. Dude, it is flinging metal dust in there. It's crazy, dude. Was that it? <laughs> Was that all That's 10? <laughs> Ha 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 ha!